lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for pisces sun moon and rising this is going to be for again like i said december 2017 going into the first week of january let's see what spirit has for you guys regarding your love life let's see what's happening with you guys i do want to send you guys a very i truly hope that you guys have a very blessed blessed yule for the majority of you guys, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys spend this time of year uh, surrounded by loved ones and people that you truly, genuinely care for as this is a very beautiful season. All right, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. So I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you guys. You guys already have one card popping out. I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you, four cards for your partner, and the current situation. Let's see the influences, people coming in, people going out, and all that good stuff. <laughs> all righty. Pisces. All right. So you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Star card. Whoa. Pisces. All right beautiful cards all right partners cards wow queen of pentacles ten of pentacles the death card the tower oh my gatos <laughs> and wow current situation ten of swords okay let me pull this down so you guys can see more clearly all righty center issue you have the ten of swords ten of swords being represented by saturn it is the karma planet and it is all about what has been worked on what we've been putting effort towards is finally coming to a completion okay so what does this mean this means put your energy and your mind towards what you're wanting to manifest my darling pisces because it will most definitely manifest for you guys you guys have beautiful cards I want to say this is the best reading I've had um, from all signs as of just now so beautiful cards okay <clears throat> you have the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles it could be that you guys are currently dealing with an earth sign earth sign would be a Capricorn a Taurus a Virgo uh, for some of you guys you may be dealing with an Aquarius for others of you, you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, I see air signs here. I see all the elements here. So, okay. You guys are going into a new cycle. I think everyone is. <laughs> but the positive about this is that you're going into a new cycle where there's going to be a lot of abundance coming in for you guys. Now, for th those of you Pisces out there that have been struggling when it comes to money and finances, that is definitely coming to an end. You guys are going to start reaping the rewards the beginning of January. Um, as the Ace of Pentacles is being symbolized here uh, the first month of the year. So again, there's a lot of quick movement. Movement, perhaps you guys have felt that you were stuck, that you weren't able to move forward. A lot of negativity behind this, but very beautiful cards. Uh, the reason I say negativity is because I feel that the Ten of Swords is definitely something that has already occurred. And I feel almost like a feeling of lightness. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, it's almost like you're being able to breathe. The Six of Swords is definitely being represented as moving to calmer waters. The Star card is definitely embracing new beginnings and guiding you. These are your spirit guides. Uh, if you guys have been praying a lot, if you guys have been communicating with higher spirit, they're definitely hearing you and they're definitely guiding you towards the achievement of what you're trying to manifest. The wheel of the year is definitely talking about, again, exactly that, the wheel of the year. The wheel is turning now. We're preparing ourselves for a new year and being able to, you know, winter for us is a representation of everything that must die uh, in order to have rebirth in order to grow in order to receive the sun again after darkness so the wheel of the year is definitely being represented here very beautifully uh, in your reading as it is promising you it's also striking luck in regards to love and romance now you do have the tower right under it the tower is a representation of something that could be catas catastrophic or something that could be very very 
hasty, but because the card surrounding it, you have the star card, you have the wheel of the year, and you have the death card. Now, the death card is not a negative card when it's not surrounded with something. Uh, I do have the ten of swords here, um, but I don't want to alarm you guys. It's not nothing. I feel that the death card is being represented um, as the end of the year. Uh, preparing ourselves to receive a new year that is going to be very abundant. Um, again, like I said, the tower is definitely unexpected luck. For some of you guys, if you guys have been out of work for quite a while, it could be that money starts to roll in. For those of you guys that have been expecting a check and it hasn't came through or it's been, uh, you know, taking longer than expected. Um, for those of you guys that are dealing with court cases, and you won and you're waiting for the payout and it just hasn't come through, all of this starts to move in January for you guys. Uh, again, like I said, if you were expecting some type of back pay, uh, that back pay is definitely coming through for January. Uh, it's almost like the blessings start to shower you or fall upon you and new beginnings as well. Now, again, like I said, the death card is right under the star card. So what this represents is that you're being illuminated and you're being guided to end a certain cycle in your life to be able to receive the new beginning. Unfortunately, for some of you guys, it was the ending of a relationship. Uh, for others of you, it could have been a karmatic relationship. Uh, for some of you guys that were married for many, many years, and there was an ending to the relationship, perhaps you guys weren't ready mentally uh, prepared to let go of this. Finally, going into January, you're releasing yourself from that karmic um, relationship and being able to fully commit to moving forward. Now, the cards that are being symbolized here for your partner is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, like I said, for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with an earth sign. Um, if you guys are not dealing with an earth sign, this could be a representation. Uh, an earth sign would be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, and I feel that this could be your partner, but again, if it's not your partner, it could be a representation of you finally being able to find that stability you've been looking for. The 10 of pentacles is again, like I said, we're talking about endings here. There's a lot of endings, um, but it is also being represented as finally getting to a point of completion of achievement, um, something that has to do monetarily wise. And I feel that your partner is being able to move forward in a positive aspect. Now, for those of you guys <clears throat> that are dealing with a Scorpio, I feel that for them, um, something major happened. Um, perhaps it was the loss of a loved one. Uh, I don't foretell deaths in the tarot. I try not to. Um, but when they do come through, I feel that this is something that has already manifested. So it could have been that they, um, uh, you guys are getting ready to uh, an anniversary of a loved one that recently passed away, or you're dealing with something that was left undone from a person, uh, dealing with something that was left undone from a person that passed away. Uh, nonetheless, all of this is going to move in a very positive way. Uh, you're going to be able to, again, like I said, finalize and stabilize your life and what you've been looking for or wanting. For some of you guys, it could be marriage as well as the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of the Year and the Ace of Pentacles is here. So all in all, this is a very beautiful card, uh, beautiful card, beautiful reading. I definitely feel that for a lot of you Pisces, there's a lot of manifestations happening in January for you guys. And again, like I said, um, my condolences to those of you guys have who have recently lost a loved one. Know and understand that they have just crossed the veil. Uh, they're very close, closer, closer than you would think. Um, and they're there for us, guiding us. So try the best you can uh, to speak to them to be able to get through this healing process. Um, again, like I said, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I definitely see an Aquarius or a Scorpio coming in or an earth sign as well. And I feel that you are definitely striking luck when it comes to love and romance. You're detaching yourself for what no longer serves you, uh, being able to move on and detach yourself from, um, for some of you guys, it could be that you detach yourself from an, a fire sign as uh, the lightning bolt is definitely speaking to me very strongly about fire. So it could have been that you're finally putting to an end uh, a relationship in regards to a fire sign, uh, but it's something that has been long happening, okay? This has been, um, you know, for a lot of you guys, it could have been 10 months. A lot of you guys could have been 10 years. 
uh, but it's something that you guys know that you needed to to do to be able to move on. And I definitely do see a lot of uh, blessings coming you guys' way uh, for the coming months, okay? So many blessings to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other in the beginning of the month. Okay? Mm, bye.